Okay, so here we are. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to build a simple good deck for Pokemon trading card game online. So we'll start off with create a new deck. And uh, we're just going to go with something extra simple, so I'm going to click expanded. Alright, first thing you want to do is get that into list mode. Next thing you want to do is change that to type. And right now what we're going to be working on is most likely here we'll go with the deck that we can do uh, psychic type. So let's go down till we get to psychic. Alright, now we're at psychic. First thing you want to do is find your Pokemon that are the strongest. Basically the ones you're going to want to focus this around. So, And also, likely if you can find the strongest, our basic type. Like this for example, here we go. Okay, so for 110 that's not too bad. Now we might want to throw that in just because it's a non EX type, so in case people have something where it can't be damaged by EX type, that'll come in handy. Alright, let's find something we got lots of. Alright, here we go. Galley DX. Okay, so do is boom. Alright, there we go. We got four of those in there. Find some other good Pokemon to go with. Okay. And let's see, we're just gonna scroll down a bit more. There we go. This is a viper. And Okay, so I've got nine Pokemon now. Okay. Let's see what else. There you got Survivor. So all right, we'll go with the uh, Lunala. So And then we need Cosmo, so type it in, there we go. Oh great, we still only have one Cosmo. Alright, hopefully we can get another one of those soon because that would be more helpful. So there's 14 cards. So basically, that's about all the Pokemon you're going to want. You don't want to fill up your deck with too many Pokemon, so here we go. So we have 14 Pokemon. Next, we want to move over to Energy. Now, let's find that Psychic Energy, and 
There we go. Just click that. So we got, say, at least 18. 20. Alright. And then trainer cards. Now we're going to want to add 26 trainer cards. So what we want to do is change it to type. And the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to add this card here if you have it. Max Elixir. Add as many of those as you own up to four. And what those are going to do is allow you to add an extra energy onto a basic type Pokemon on your bench. So this is going to help you get energy on your Pokemon faster. Now you want to go up and add Ether. Add four of those. Um, or say three. Leave things open to add some more stuff. And then next you're going to need Pokedex. And I'm going to show you why add at least three of those now what you do is when you're playing if you get an ether card or a pokedex wait till you have both a pokedex and an ether now what you do is you play the pokedex card first so this allows you to check the next top five cards and put them back in any order so what you do is after checking the cards find the energy that you're want, going to want to take out with your ether select that as your first card followed by the rest of the cards you want to get after that card. Then what you do is use your ether and then you're going to be guaranteed that next card is going to be that energy card that you need. So this way you don't waste your ether. So the two of them work in combination to get an extra energy onto any Pokemon that you want. Next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to your supporter type cards and there's a couple different ones you can use you can use this one here which draw three cards or you can use this one here which also allows you to draw three cards or the new one here which allows you to draw three cards so what you're going to want to do is make sure you put at least three or four of those in so that's going to help you get more cards out more cards faster now what I like to do is I also like to take extra chance and put in some of these so you can flip a coin if you get heads then you can draw three cards plus it's an item so you're not limited to one per turn And then next up, if there's any stadium cards that are beneficial to the type that you're using, go through those and add one in, or two, whatever you feel. For right now, I'm not too concerned in this deck. And then you want to go to your Pokemon tool cards, and if you have one, Add a Fighting Fury Belt, um, especially mainly if you have a lot of basic type Pokemon for your deck. Now, what do we got? A couple non-basic, so those are the only ones it won't work with. But keep things simple. We'll just leave it out this time. Next up, you'll want some other cards like your hard charm to help prevent damage. If you wanted to add more damage, you can add in a muscle belt. Wait, muscle band. So add a couple of each. Now if you need to switch your Pokemon around frequently, this is really handy. So 
Now what we're going to do is, this isn't overly handy with this type, so we're going to go with that, those two there. And then from there, you're going to want to look for different cards that could be useful to your strategy for the type of deck you're doing. So, for example, I might need an extra chance of switching the Pokemon in addition to that. Um, oh, uh, another key thing that I guess um, you might want to add to is Pokemon Center Lady to be able to heal your Pokemon. There we go. So, we got four cards left we can add. So let's go for a potion. And say so we want to be able to pick out the cards that we want or need. Uh, add in uh, let's say great ball. Um, take a chance or, you know what we can do is Ultra Ball. There we go, and there, 60 cards. Alright, so that'll give us a basic half decent deck. Go to save, type in a name for it. Gonna call it uh, Z Psychic Deck, whatever. Good enough. Select the coin, deck box, whatever you want. Card sleeves, and save. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial, and thanks for watching. Have a very happy day.